Being weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my... Shepard. My friend. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here with Cinderius Shepard, Morden Solus, and Grunt. We're here on Tachanka to do both of their loyalty quests. So because of the length of these, we kind of split up the, uh, the landing and the talking with Samara in our last issue, issue, last episode. So let's go ahead and... Oh my god, it's Char! From Ilium, people! What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character! Wow, I feel sorry for her. <laughs> Maybe I should have broken them up. <laughs> wow! Alright! Blood Pack Recruiter. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. All right. Oh, and look. Varen. All right, and we have an over-captain. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Let's ask about the right. Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Okay. Over Captain. What a what a title. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. <laughs> All right, here we go. Into Tachanka. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Look at that, another Varen. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijacks be on the boss. Heard not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Alright. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Baron attack. Looks like Urs finally found someone to follow around. Pet the Varen. Good Varen. Wow, I didn't know some of them were actually tame. All right, we'll, Stay. we'll leave him alone. And let's talk to this gentleman here, Ratch. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. What do you sell? What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Oh, God. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Hmm. Tell me about the pie jacks. What the hell is a piejack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Oh, well, ask no hate for alien? Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an erdnot. Except you. 
I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. Um, I'll help with the pie jacks. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Oh, right. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Kill pie jacks, people. All right, where are oh, we gonna walk down here? Well, how do we get down there? Found someone to follow around. Um, I think we probably have to talk to the clan leader first. Well, no, actually, we might be able to skip talking to the clan leader. Let's go over here and try to kill these pie jacks and get a discount. Watch it, human. Chief Scout? What do you want, human? Rex told me to be polite. He Rex? didn't say you were going to talk to me. So, you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Threats to food? Let's ask about it. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Let's ask about the women and children. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight. But they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If its women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Let's ask about the scout commander duties. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide-and-seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. Hmm, and this is normal. So every clan of Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. Hmm. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. Mm, hardly sounds like scouting. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. Hmm. Okay, well, nice talking with you. Thanks for the information. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's see if Look I can at run. remember how to do ah. this. Oh my god. Um, did it start yet? Okay, use A to fire. Oh shoot. Oh, that was that was just the first wave, okay.
Okay. How many more waves are there? Oh my goodness. And even more pie jacks too. Oh, two for one. One again. Another two for one. All right, we've completed it. Nice. Okay. All right. Straight ahead. Let's go get our discount. And then we need to talk to an old friend. My son, the Black Tackle the Baron. Looks like Urs finally found someone to follow her. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. Oh, I swear it was glorious. Uh, let's get down to business. I didn't do that for my health. Let's talk payment. You have a lot of skill with those cannons. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. All right, thank you. I should go. Suit yourself. Is there anything worth getting? Oh, we got 40 experience, too. Heavy weapon ammo. Stabilization gauntlets. A death mask. This this was the disappointing thing. This, this, this cool-looking death mask. Only bonus gives you is for negotiation. Anyway. All right, asymmetric defense layer increases health, shield harness increases shields. Okay. Um Wow, and the heavy weapon ammo costs a lot, too. Well, I'll get these gauntlets. Get this asymmetric defense layer shield harness. I don't know about the heavy weapon ammo capacity, but that is a lot. We might as well get it. This should come in handy. Um. Yeah, maybe we should get some pie jack meat that could could use that. And I'm leaving the death mask. I, I, it is pretty useless to me. Looks cool, but it's it's. Should Practicality is Why bother with all the politics? Limited. You know you've sired a son. That's enough. But I can teach him the hunt. The best way is through the gun. Alright, so talk to yeah. Grunt. Do that next time they bring the children. And we need to come up here to do that. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <coughs> Out of my... Shepard. My friend. <laughs> you look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Hmm, yeah, it's been a long time, Rex. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Mm. Speak one spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? 
How's the Normandy? Where is he? Well, never mind. Let's just say it's gone, but I'm not. The Normandy died. More permanently than I did. I'm back, fighting the odds. Maybe you can help. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Uh, let's... Well, first of all, let's talk about him. Let's do some small talk. Tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. Uh. Let's ask why bother with weak clans. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. But yours is dominant. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. Okay, well. Let's talk about his business here. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka. But you're an exception. Let's ask what's wrong with Grunt. I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiagar. You recite warlords. But you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Mm. Ukir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> oh, I miss Rex and his sense of humor. Oh my goodness. All right, does it change anything? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths, who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? Uh, let's ask what if he doesn't? What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here... He would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Ogier didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? <laughs> okay, so you'll allow a clone. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all... You and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. Let's ask what's involved. What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. Hmm. All right, well, if this helps, then yes. We didn't come all this way for nothing.
Yes, my blood demands this. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew, hmm? Uh, let's see. I think we need to probably come back. I don't know if we can start his Morden's thing too. We probably shouldn't. All right. Let's. Um. I'll say we'll talk later. We'll come back and talk to him. I need to go. We'll go over solarity. this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchanka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. All right, to Renegade. Okay, where would the shaman be? I'm not quite sure I remember. See that special they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. Okay, here we go. I'll tear you apart. You don't have the place. Shaman. Eyes straight ahead. You go beyond yourself, Gatatag Uvank. The rights of Erdnot are dominant. How do we know it will challenge him? He's unnatural. The beasts of the right could ignore him like a lump of plastic. They know blood no matter the womb. Your barking does not help your case. I'll speak for myself. This is the tank bread. It is very lifelike. Smells correct as well. <laughs> Your protests ring hollow, Uvank. Okay. Chevrolet's gonna put his foot down now. He's getting tired of this. I want this crap over with. I'm not fighting over this nonsense. Grunt's ready. Let's get to it. I like your dismissal of our rituals even less than Uvank's challenges. And my word determines whether a right will proceed. If this must stand on ritual, then I invoke a denial. My Krantz stands against him. He has no one. Mm. My patience is tested, but Uvank invokes correctly. Grunt, who is your Krant? Your allies willing to kill and die on your behalf. Hmm, he can bring allies? How is a candidate tested if he brings back up on his rite of passage? Not every Krogan can be the strongest warrior. But each must inspire his peers to battle at his side. If the ones who know you best can find nothing worthy in you, you should wander the wastes and die alone before you weaken my clan. We will kill for Grunt. Grunt will strengthen Clan Erdnot. Name our target and it will die. Spoken well. Most aliens, and some Krogan, do not understand our ways. I believe this human does. Aliens don't know strength. My followers are true, Krogan. Everything about Grunt is a lie. Mm-mm. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. I withdraw my denial. This will be decided elsewhere. You have provoked them. Reason enough for me to like you. They're your problem now. All right, let's ask for the details. We've waited long enough. Tell us how this works. Still your impatience, Shepard. For now, know that Grunt will be tested and that you must adapt. Okay, can Uvink interfere? Is that Krogan going to be a problem? He is forbidden to interfere. Will he? During the rite of passage, you must be ready for anything, Shepard. From what you've shown me, you will not disappoint. Okay. What should we bring? Do we need any special equipment? To begin the rite, only the candidate and his crant are required. You love battle, don't you, Shepard? The last gasp of a dying opponent. Bring your love of the fight to Grunt's trial. And he will succeed. Okay. Um, 
let's prepare because I think there's one other area. We'll return when we're ready. When the young Krogan is prepared, bloodshed in the right must not be rushed. Alright, so we Give me a reason. We'll need to return to the shaman. Ooh, nine renegade, nice. Who is this Nator? Go away. The envoy of the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Alright. And I think let's go down here. I've had enough oh. of you. Then let's end this. The Citadel Presidium has a big statue of a Krogan right in the middle. <laughs> well, I'm not putting it down. You know, th this is a uh Memories from a long time ago. No, I don't want to watch a fight. Give me a reason. And I'm Step not sure back. if they're accurate or not. I can remember back. fighting. Yeah, there's a lab. And this person here, four. Could you be in here? Who are you? I am Fortat, Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. But I don't have time to answer your inane questions. Uh-uh, people. I know you see it. It's time for some renegade. Then make time. Now how many humans does the clan leader allow to walk freely among the Erdnot? Not very many. It begs the question of why you are here. I earned the right to walk among you. Want to see how I did it? Oh, very well. But if you get in the way of my research, I will see you ejected. Hmm. You have an impressive title. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Wow, you killed your predecessor? Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Let's ask what he's researching. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah. What else can the Salarians do to us at this point? Mm. It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they might be able to. Um, Tell me about the new leader. It sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about it. All right. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. Um, let's look at his database. What's in here? Oh, assault rifle damage. Look at this. We are so poor. Biotic damage, too? I should have come over here first. Wow. All right, so let's... <laughs> Let's remember to come back here at some point when we've got some money. Wow, I can't believe it. It's injured Krogan. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you. Or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt. Continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Yeah, let me punch this pie jack. <laughs> felt good <laughs> okay I think we are about ready oh wait let's talk These to this mechanic. Would last longer if they did. do I look like I have time to talk I've got work to do those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold they say it got shot off in the field you tell me how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold who are you I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. Mm. Where can I find a manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. 
It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. All right, well, I'll look for it. I'm going out into the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. <laughs> oh, okay. Let Goodbye. me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Yeah. So you can see, uh, One wrong step, Shepherd. it's a little bit important to walk around and talk to people. You get some extra missions and things to do. Let's talk to Grunt here. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Vile. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Hmm, wow. That's pretty strong. The Citadel has these huge arms, and millions of people live there. Why do you care so much? You're gonna leave. All right, there's I'll the shaman. Then I'll push you on okay, back. so we're gonna end the video here because we've done a lot of talking, a lot of exploration, a lot of pie jack shooting, and we're gonna continue on with Grunt's loyalty mission in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.